so reflection i am basically uh, my name is lydian sorry <laughs> sorry about that um basically inspired by the bible and i'm here to add value to your lives um through the word of god through the encouraging words inspiring uh, quotes inspiring words to show you the way to tell you about the bible to tell you about the good news of jesus christ and to let you know that you're not alone whatever situation you're going through it's not only you going through it many people have gone through it and uh, they have won they have become better people but who do you trust who do you have in your heart who do you have in your life are you empty or you having someone in your life as for one i have jesus in my life and i'm grateful i have him and i'm so proud of him i glorify him it's not only because uh, we are born again that's why we're talking about all this no everyone needs to know about the good news of jesus christ about the savior about the lord our savior and we love to tell everyone that jesus is coming back soon you see everything going on in the world people are dying people are suffering accidents are being accidents people are having miscarriages people are dying when having babies but above all there is god there is that god that helps us through it doesn't matter when you die oh it doesn't matter when and who <laughs> who told you that you're going to die today or tomorrow we don't know when we are going so we need to prepare we need to prepare for life after here if today you're watching me and you're hearing these words i'm so grateful because we need to prepare for life after here what about when you die where are you going are you going now which place are you going to what about when you what about when you get an accident and whew, you're dead where are you going to what about when you just don't wake up where do you wake up from what about when something just happens people are dying on and on people don't wake up people get accidents and die people are even even bullets this time round but where are you going like after after everything have you ever looked at everything and have you ever looked to yourself in the mirror and you like Lillian, where am I going after this life, after, after here, where am I going to? This is what I want to talk about today. The reflection, the reflection. Have you ever got yourself in the mirror and you're like, mm. okay, okay. <laughs> most, most people, when we wake up in the morning, when we are going somewhere, we wake up and we're like, okay, I need to look into the mirror and check out myself. Um, is my eyebrow okay? Is my lips okay? Oh, oh, that is a reflection of you. That is you. But my dear, reflection. What about tomorrow when we are no more? What about when I get to die now? What about when I don't wake up? What about when I can't breathe again? What happens next? What happens when I, I can't talk again? What happens when I can't move again? What happens? Like I'm here to talk about today, uh, reflection, reflection. How are you reflecting yourself to God? We are, I always tell you that we are not the body we are sitting in the body we are spirits that spirit that dies and go back we are not of this earth we are of the heavens we are of god so what if what if it happens and you have to go back have you prepared have you ever reflected yourself in the mirror and you're like oh okay you know what the Bible says? The Bible says that 
Ebyoku nsi kuno kuno kwetuli. We are visitors here but nga wetuli bagenyi kunelo. Ebyao kumanga twali eli the first. It's not the years you have that it's your oldness no. Na ye twaja kunsi and the one responsible for us that is God. He read the Bible. He inspired people to write the Bible. And in his words, Agamant, if you can see, between it is a young guru. So, that's what I'm going to talk about. Reflection. Have you? Do you know that when you're going somewhere, you look in the mirror and you're like, okay. Ah, I'm going to go and I'm going to go and i <laughs> and as he ganya, but oh, he look and he like, oh, his skin is going dark. Oh my god, oh, but as we look into the mirror and and look and you like, okay, Kavidi ni noted exam, or together, and you like, ah, can Kapin take a turn in the room to me, you know, Logam and I can. No, no, I'm gonna hold. <laughs> no, okay, with that. You like you want to be perfect as you get out, you know. Oh, yeah, gala, what work and did a well over them go find an abnoging guy. You go to gonga, you go to look at that. Everyone appreciates you. This is the same thing our God wants from us. He wants us to be looking good, to be qualifying to go anywhere. He wants us to this life after the life after we are going back to the father it's like you're going out there to work it's like you're going out there to do something for a meeting for uh, uh, an outing for a job for a work for working and you're like okay i have to prepare myself i have to put on very well and it's the same thing as we are going back to the father have you have we prepared ourselves for the father the father god to have we prepared have we checked kubanga uh, illustrated something here but uh i will put it after now yeah if finger were to refer by one two a mirror joke that my channel where the bible will be kanako yeah 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 bible yeah bible the mirror that reflects us where we check ourselves according to the according to home jetwava i told you that some of us don't know in nunozafi we don't even know our language mama nyo jetwava tuave yo e wagulu e yo and God brought us here. But we don't even know our language. We don't know how to pray. <laughs> My dear, for me, where I'm coming from, it's up there. And the language up there is the prayer, is fasting. That is the language. Bearing the fruits of the Holy Spirit. So, when I went to Momida, I see my reflection. I see my reflection. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, oh. So, I don't know So, it's the same way the God, 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 God. You have to Bible. The Bible to use it as a reflection. Kumanga te taja tuan um taja te want sida ba o ndabramu ya spiritual mirror, but the Bible. Bible ja tuan etu edabamu, cause we there is everything we need to know in the Bible. He wrote everything for us. He wrote everything for us. If you have the Bible, uh, the Bible is we can install on the on the our phones they're very good you just put something you want to know about and it comes but have you looked in that mirror have you checked the mirror how long did you check the the original mirror the original mirror is the word of god 
the word of God. How, how many times do you look in the spiritual mirror? This mirror but what about after have we checked ourselves to, to are we qualifying to go to the life after this one have we checked ourselves in the heavenly mirror which is the word of god the reflection of god in us that means what reflects us to him is the Bible. How many times do you read the Bible? And you like negamba uh, Bible And you like you when you read it, you get to know eh, I have a scratch. Chilling out and you like you like, okay, I need to remove it. When you look into the Bible and you like, the Bible is like Tobanga, Totanga. You like, oh okay, nina nina mo kuba muli edi muda and you like, okay, you try it harder to remove that spot in the heavenly mirror to remove it and you like, okay, Bible ya gambe bwe tinti no nina kajonjo kuba and you remove it. But you need to, you need even to, sometimes a disorder, sorry to use this example, but uh, I think the Holy Spirit is, okay. A disorder, you check in your mirror and get this or you're not a John Joe a day, you know? Nga engalo zokate zigenda kumala. Nga what you need is to get a cloth and dip it in water and bring it and wash the eye. Sometimes what we need is to see our face. Ozuku kanga of Janjavli Mufesi. Nga ngeregezeza. Ngeregezeza kulukse. Only doing this is not enough. What you need to go is to go in a basin to get water. To get water. Huh? And get water in your hands and clean your face. This is the same way we should conduct God's word. We look into the Bible and it says, Tobanga. Nga olimu binga, chachikubeza na wo. And you like, mkama. Ngo bujonjo wa judo bo kuba. It's in your face. O bujonjo bo kuba. Ngelegeza zo kuba. And you like, Ate, the mirror is showing me. And I can't go out there. Nga nino bujonjo bo kuba. You understand? What you need to do is to, to put a next step and get a deep, a deepened a cloth in the water and you, you know, you clean yourself. It, if it refuses, you go to a, a, a benzene, you, go to, you get a jerrica and clean your face. That is a, another step you take. Some things are hurting. Some things we are doing, but they can't just go off. It is not easy to leave some things, but it takes you. It takes you to take another step to get rid of them. Abama bele yonga ina kajonjo kwa kubba. Nana ya chimanyi, ndi kubi. Na hiyan kwa zentia. But you can't go out there and go bujonjo bukuliko. You can't go back to where we came from. We came from God, but you can't go back. Ngo ino bujonjo. Okay, na kuswala. And everyone will be like, eh, gundi umlabi, eh, gundi umlabi. You know, and no one wants to kuswala. So what we need to do is to get hold of ourselves and say, okay, I know nyuanyo. You read the Bible, to nyuanyo ebitamiza. And you're like, atenze mbi nyuanyo. Nchagalanyo kamwenge. Nchagalanyo nyuabi, anayate Bible yega ambie. You know? Nayate Mirayam Gure Gambie. I'm not supposed to. Nayate Minayam Bible Gambie. Nino Bujon John Engelegezo Kuba. You like, okay. I need to take time. I need to take a, a step. I get a, I get water. If I don't have water, I have to fetch it. Ok, okunyo mwenge. 
Nga you have to leave it, you have to let go. But it's not easy. But walk how you like, oh my god. Um come on so you no. But we need to do it because we are going out back to our father. Life after here. We need to take a step. We need to if you need to to live okunyo mwenge because kajonjo. When you look into the mirror, which is the Bible, it is saying When you look into the mirror, which is the Bible, it is saying You sleep around. Yes, we know it's not easy to live, but you try. Get yourself into the mirror and say, okay. Okay. I'm going to stop visiting guys at night. I'm going to stop, you know, the zero distance. You find ways to overcome. You find ways to, 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 to remove. But you can't see that when you don't look into the Bible. When you don't look into the spiritual mirror, which is the Bible, you will not find out what you're doing. You will not find out how you're going through everything. But when you look into the mirror, you will say, My dear, you will have to find way. It only starts with you inside your heart. Everything starts with you. I like okay. Inze ni no John John engere geze za za kuvuma. Na yuko zenti obuta vuma. Try to keep quiet. Try to find ways. If he refuses, fast. Consult pastors. Consult bigger people. The people you know, or, or you know, you be there and knowing that ona jakunyamba, ona jakunyamba. Consult them. Tell them naenga nyomba nyom. What should I do to stop kuyomba? Bola wa muno na gule moto kano uli na ngofa. No uli na oga hadi ya ni agula te moto kanga nzisi diguze. And you feel like you're dying. Obo bujon jongere geze. You need to wash off that because you're going nowhere to the next life. But this reflection that comes in. This reflection of the word that we look into the heavenly mirror and say, Okay, now I need to wash off Okuvuma. I need to wash off Okunyiga Niga. I need to bear the, the, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Nino Kuigo Kuagala. Nino Kuiga to interact with people. Nino Kuigo Ksonyua. Kuango Ksonyua Teka. Aba mwina, mwina face, very bad faces in the spiritual life. You need God. You need to change. I don't care who is you, who you take as your God. But for me, I know my God, my God, the living God. Who, who, read, who inspired us to write the Bible? Who inspired the people to write the Bible? The mirror I use, I use it every day. I'm not saying, I'm not judging anyone. I'm not saying that you bad or something. But I need you to look into the mirror and say, is what I'm doing right? Is it taking me anywhere? And where is it taking me? When I was a demon, I up to when? When is it going to stop? When? We need to look into the spiritual mirror. We need to check our hearts. You know your heart more than anyone else. You know your heart more than your parents, more than your husband. You know your heart more than your, your wife, your children. But look, I want you to look into the heavenly mirror, the word of God, and say, am I doing wrong, wrong or right? Is what I'm doing take me, taking me anywhere over? In Proverbs 27, 19, it says, 
as waters reflect the face, so one's life reflects the heart. Ngabo tunula mumazi wot. Negalaga face yo. No blam bobo, we be reflecting on Timago. It should be the soul. Your life reflects what you are inside.